Hey, what's up? David here with Dino Video Fix, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to finally learn how to do this rain, cloud, fog effect, I don't care, whatever you want to call it. So, we're finally going to learn it, but let's first take a look at what we're going to be creating. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed that. So, we can see here we got some clouds we got some fog rain some drizzle now you will be needing a third party plugin trap code particular and 3d camera tracker so i do apologize if you don't have those but if you do let's get straight into it so i have some raw footage and let's drop that into a comp perfect uh perspective 3d camera tracker now it's going to do some analyzing and it's going to take a couple of minutes so and once it's finished it's going to do another thing but it's going to take a couple of seconds and once it's finished everything it should look like this you have these rainbow dots everywhere and this is all the camera tracking data that the camera tracker <laughs> has done so the, i'm just gonna find like a set like a flat plane this one looks pretty good, so I'm going to right click, create solid and camera. And that creates a solid and a camera. Hit S and then scale it up. I'm holding shift to make it go faster. And there we go. Don't worry about the rotation. It's just, we can fix that later. But we can see here it's um, in place with that as we scrub through the timeline. Okay. So let's make our drizzle map. So we're going to go, so hit control Y and we'll make this gray and call this drizzle. And we're going to make it a 3D layer. So we're going to go effect simulation CC drizzle. And that makes some drizzle mats. So let's change a few settings. We're going to make this drip rate to 2.5. We're going to make the displacement 111. Ripple height to 130. Light to 1000. Light height to 70. And light direction to 19. Okay, so that's our drizzle. Now, let's get the position properties for my track solid. Hit Control C, hit P for our drizzle, and hit Control V. And what that does is, if I hide this, it goes in the same position as our tracking solid. So there it is. So we hit S, scale it up. And there we go. Hit W, rotate this, and scale it up until it aligns with our surface. And if we go change this to overlay, and you can see it's overlaid with our river. Now we've got some extra bits around it. We can fix that by using the mask tool. So we just click that pen tool. And so we're just going to draw a mask around this river. And I'll be right back. So there we go. It doesn't have to be perfect because um, it's going to be covered by quite a bit of stuff. So don't worry about it. So hit F, feather it out. And that's it. And the tracking data should perfectly align or close align with uh, the river. But just to be sure, we're going to um, align it ourselves to make it more perfect. So hit MM, hit the stopwatch for mass path, and then just scrub through until it perfectly 
lines up. So I'm just going to do this, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've done the mass path. It does, you don't need that many keyframes, so that's all good. So let's make our clouds now. So let's hit Control Y again. Make a black solid, call this clouds. Okay, now we need trap code particular. Okay, so we got our particular, so let's change a couple of settings. So let's change the particles per second to maybe 120. I'm going to type to box. Let's change this. I'll solo this. And let's bring the emitter really high. I'm just, these are my values for when I did it, so you guys can have a play with on what your values are. Uh, let's bring the particle to life to 3.5. Change this to a sprite. Now, I do have some cloud stock footage, so I have this cloud image. I'm going to drop it into our comp. Let's hide it. And then I'm going to change the texture to that cloud image. So it's there, but it's very small, so don't worry. We can just make this very large. Make this 150. Okay. Now let's change some of the settings. We size random and make this a bit more transparent. There we go. And change the rotation a bit. Eight. And we want to make the size fairly big because it's pretty large, the fogs. Okay, so let's turn on shading for main. That gives a bit of shading. And we want to make this slide this a bit to the left because we don't want to have a uh, clouds popping up straight away we want to have clouds already on screen and we just extend this and all right so we got our clouds so let's make our rain so we're going to hit control y and we'll call this rain hit ok and we'll go simulation cc particle world shut the grid off And let's change a couple of settings here. So let's bring out all of this. So we'll change the, we'll double the birth rate and spread the particles out fairly wide. We'll solve this. Uh, just spread it out nice and light, wide. And turn the gravity to 1, velocity 1 1.2, and change the color as well, maybe more like a whitish color. Okay. And we'll hit T and bring the opacity down to maybe 60%. Okay, and we've got to do the same what we did with the clouds. We can't have just have rain popping up all of a sudden, so we need to be on screen. So we have, so we just slide across, bring that out, check the end, and you can see there's not much rain, so we've got to bring that out more. And there we go. Okay, so that's it for the rain. And let's do some color correction. So we hit Control Alt Y. So I'm gonna call this vignette. 
Oh, and by the way, uh, enter is to rename the layer. Hit go to color correction curves. Hit double click the mask. And that creates a perfect ellipse. Set this to subtract. And let's bring that down. And hit F, feather it out. Quite a lot. And there we go. And there we go. So hit Control Alt Y again. Call this color correction. And we go curves again. But this time we add a tint. Put that before the curves. Hit drop that down to 30%. And create a little contrast and uh, bring the red channel down a bit and the blue up a bit not too much just a bit yeah that's uh that's it so anyway that's it guys so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial um i hope you learned interesting techniques that you can use for your own creations um so the rain clip video is on our my website so it's here rain fog i caught it so it's up there uh tutorial will be on youtube I'm, i can't upload tutorial videos on the website i don't know why guys probably the wix but anyway i <laughs> uh, hope you enjoyed this video please like comment subscri subscribe subscribe and um yeah uh, until next time, I will see you in the next video.